welcome back to my channel if you're new here karibu sana this is a channel where we talk about everything positivity do everything creativity as you exalt christ i'd like to share something in continuation of last week's content on uh, the word for the year the scripture for the year so today i want to share content of my vision board last year i not last year 2021 that is um, I created a vision board uh, in 2020, going to 2021, and I shared, I didn't really share the content, but I shared how I made it. If you've not watched that video, you can go and watch how I made uh, the vision board for 2021. In 2022, I used the same vision board because most of the things are... Uh, Actually, maybe 75 of the things I was not able to accomplish uh, in 2021. So I went on with that vision board as I even maybe added uh, or rather accelerated some of my efforts to make sure that I achieve the content of that vision board in 2022. But it's not like it's, I've accomplished everything altogether, but this year I want to make a new vision board. Of course, I'm picking some things from the previous vision board. A couple of things I was able to achieve uh, in the year 2022, but the rest of the things I'll be picking from it and then co continuing with and or rather including in my 2023 vision board. Some of the things, of course, I'm doing away with. Uh, the areas whereby um, my goals have changed, like uh, in terms of career, of course, I've gone through transition in career. And there are a few things whereby my goals have changed, I've moved places and a lot of things really that have made my some of my goals to change a bit. And I just want to tell anyone who's usually scared to make plans or make goals or set goals, uh, it's important to do so because one, you can know how far you are from the goals. Uh, again, you can you, you are able to align because you are able to see the uh, you can you are able to see the direction your life is taking, then you're able to align. So this year I am using a couple of questions which I'm asking myself and I just read them. Uh, when you look back on your on your time, what do you hope to see? What is bothering you the most? What is giving you the most joy? Uh, or rather what is making you happy? Then I wrote in my in first person, so I, I said, what do I want my life to look like? What is getting in the way? Rather, what are the biggest roadblocks? And then this is the biggest question that I'm asking myself. What can I do in the next 12 months to get where I want to? Yes. So I I was able to answer some of these questions. And that's what I'll share. Uh, there are around, I think, uh, how many are there? 315 items that I want to achieve by the close of the year. And that's what I want to share today. They look a lot, but some of them are overlapping. And uh, yeah, some of them are online. I just list listed them randomly, probably because I'm intending to make a vision board at the end of it all. I'm just taking my time. I feel like sometimes there's, there's not, you, we don't usually need to rush because sometimes we get into planning in a rushed manner and then we don't even think through the things we want to do or achieve. And then we overpromise or we, we miss the direction you're supposed to be taking and we make misplaced priorities. Like we, we misplace our priorities. So I'm just taking my time. I even took some time to list this. After I had prayed, I got the word for the year. I took some time, some time to list this. And of course, I've been even planning throughout the month and throughout the quarters of the month and weeks and days. And so I was able to come up with a few items and I'll be sharing them one by one. But one of the things is better understanding of the word. Uh, I want to at least read through the Bible once. Last year I was not able to read through the Bible. I began very well. I got <laughs> I got to First Samuel, which is almost nowhere. This year I want to read through, like in a month, and then um, yeah, then later on study. We call it saturation. It's good to be saturated with the Word of God. So I'm, I'm planning. There's a plan I have that I've not executed again, but I'm planning to read through the Bible at least once in one month. And then now start studying. I believe that we can study the Bible uh, like three chapters a day. We can study three chapters a day. So I'd rather read through within a short time than start studying slowly by slowly. Yes. So the next thing is consistency. In, in uh, consistency in behavior, that is studying of the word. As I've said, I want to read through once. Then I want to study slowly, day by day. Then uh, prayer life, consistent prayer life. Uh, I want to really 
work on my devotions in the morning or in the night. Then fasting, uh, I used to fast at least once a week, sometime back, but COVID messed up things. I know I'm, I'm, I'm blaming COVID, uh, but I lost the consistency. So I want to do that in 21 days of prayer and fasting. I'm taking advantage of that, but it's not easy. But uh, past that, I want to build a consistent uh, prayer and fasting culture, whereby maybe I take a, a day, a week, and do that. Today is Sunday, that is Salvation Army, Juana Peter. So they're doing their, what do you call it, the march around the estate. The next thing, number three, is at least 12 people like Christ. I want to witness to at least 12 people. Um, I don't want to rely on door-to-door -door sessions to be able to witness. I want to be able to witness to at least 12 people minimum. That is one person per month. Uh, hopefully, purposely do one person per month, but at least have 12 people witnessed through by the end of the month. Then the other thing is consistently sharing content on my social media platform. I believe that my social media are platform to be used to pass the message of Jesus Christ. So I want to at least share one. I'm not even giving myself like big targets one content per week uh the ideal will be three or four daily but i feel like if i set one one content per week i have a whole a whole seven days and then i can't be able to do like two three four five six or seven maybe seven is too much but you know i'm able to do more then the the next thing at least read at least 12 books i'm currently reading a book by david platt called radical it's a nice one if you can get it, please get it. So this is the book I'm reading. Uh, this is January. I'm hoping to finish it by the end of this month. Then pick up on another one. At least a book a month. So that is 12 books or more. Or more. If I'm able to do three in a month or four, better still. Increase my income to a mentioned amount. I said that I, I had a vision board in 2021. And it's funny. The amount I wrote there, it was really, really little. Yeah, it was little. Right now, if you're using it, or rather in... Uh, the life, the my, my life standard, if they may call it. I think I'm still struggling to talk about money. In my life standard, if I'm using it, it's it's it's, it's little. But in 2020, in 2020, because that's when I was creating my vision board for 2021, that's what I wanted to get. Because that year was we we all know what 2020 was. We struggled when that went pay cuts and all that we barely had jobs so i was just praying for a certain amount to be able to just pay bills really and i was able to achieve it in 2022 this year i have an amount i've mentioned but i even feel like that time i would have mentioned even a higher amount because sometimes from our mouth to god's ears and we limit ourselves sometimes so this year there's an amount i've mentioned again it's not that it's not a lot but uh where i am at when i look at that it's I feel like it's manageable. <laughs> I don't know why I think in terms of money being manageable, but I feel like if I put in place steps, uh, it's something that is achievable. But I'm also open for miracle. We are we are not limiting God. I'm definitely leaving space for God to surprise me. And then uh, number eight, I have a number seven which I'm not mentioning. Number eight, I want to be able to at least give 36 Bibles to the Bibleless. I usually have this project, uh, if you don't know, and you want to support, called Bibles for the Bibleless, whereby I normally buy Bibles to people who are not able to buy Bibles for themselves. That is in children's home or their rich people groups. That is, you know, those people who have not been rich with the gospel. But uh, for them, at least I... Uh, my goal is to buy them Swahili Bibles, or if there's an interpretation for their Bible, I'm able to buy, and uh, that's what I want to do, really. Last year, I was able to buy at least Swahili Bible, not really buy with my own money, but mobilize people to support in buying Bibles for the unreached uh, Rendile community. Of course, them that are rich are the ones who are able to read the Bible, but to support that community. This year, I'm hoping to buy for that community at least 12 again. My goal is, last year was to get them 12. I was able to do 6. So this year, I want to do 12 again. And then the rest, maybe the rest 24 is to enrich, enrich not enriched, but uh, people without Bible in other areas. Um, the next thing is apply for at least 3 scholarships. I've started gaining interest to for scholarship, international scholarships to go and further my education. I'm considering that last year I engaged, I, rather I tried to apply for one. This year I'm hoping to apply for three. Yes, I don't know where that will go. If it goes well, well and good. If God would want to 
align me towards a, a different direction i'm still open but it's something that i've been having interest in for some time now i don't want to travel to at least two countries last year i wanted to I was meant to travel to Egypt for COP27. COP27 is a climate change conference planned by UN. I had the budget for it, or rather I've got a sponsorship, but then I was not able to get a badge. Uh, I looked for the badge uh, up to the last point. This year I am planning to start looking for the badge way, way early, and I hope I'll be able to get it so that in case I get uh, money for that um, so if i'm able to need to to get the badge uh the cop uh 28 for this year will be or rather the cop uh, conference for this year will be in qatar so i'll see about that also work related i may travel to uganda but my friend and i are also planning to travel to at least she likes rwanda so we might do rwanda we can also do tz i don't know but we, we said we must travel so we will plan besides work related i will look for ways to at least travel to two or a minimum of two one i'm relying on work the other one i'm relying on of course my own plans i'm planning to open a circle it's embarrassing i was almost not saying this just to pretend that i am in a circle but i'm not i've been planning to join one for way too long no i was in one but it's it was a fintech kind of circle I will not mention because I've been really trying to leave it. This year I'm planning to get into one of the circles in the country. I think it's among the best or well known. I've been doing my research. Uh, we are considering to join with my friend because it's always good to join into a circle with people you know. So we are planning to join with my friend. Hopefully, I've already inquired. We are going actually to talk about it today. Today is on Sunday. So we might meet and talk about it. 13 is I want to begin trading and to learn about stock exchange market. Stock exchange. I'm planning to learn also about stocks and um, yeah, basically forex and stock and be able to look for ways to invest there as well. I also would like to go for at least one mission trip. Last year I, was, I went for a mission trip and i was uh, and those were among my travels last year i had long when i was talking about traveling last year i made some local travels naivasha Homa bay vihiga uh, marsabit yeah i did a, a number of county and when i was going to marsabit i passed through several county nanyuki nyeri yeah all those county moranga like kipia meru so many counties yeah and uh, this year, I'm planning, yeah, that was a mission trip we went to in March a bit this year. Um, I'm planning to go for one. Last year, again, I was hoping to go to, to go back either to March a bit or to go to Teta Taveta during my Christmas holiday. It was not possible because I worked on 20th and 21st. I was working close to my hometown, uh, like Ushago. So I was not able to come back. On 20 like 20 second and we know how it's hard to get means of transport during those days and then travel to either Teta Taveta or Master Beat. but this year I'm hoping I'll be able to go for a mission trip to either of the places and lastly this year I'm hoping to go for therapy like I'm really hoping and intending to go for therapy I'm encouraging everyone but then I learned that you can go your cover if you have a medical cover can cater for your therapy so I'm doing my research and I'm hoping to begin as soon as possible that's one of the things that I want. I want to do this soul work. I said, um, someone actually told me, one of the people I really look up to, that soul work is sewage work and many are not willing to do that sewage work. But this year I've decided to do that sewage work. I just want to deal with underlying issues that I may be having. It's not like I'm having a mental health issue like that I know, but I want to deal with um, any underlying issues, childhood traumas, anything that I may be uh, that may be weighing me down and hindering me from uh, working to my uh, my best capacity. So yeah, I'm up for that task. So those are the 15 things. Uh, there are 15 things. Um, I'm open for surprise from God. I trust that God's will is um, is sovereign for my life. And should any of these, should it differ with any of the things that I've written down, I'm open to. Uh, what he has for me because it's always better than what you may think we have for ourselves or we think for ourselves so i will not i will not hesitate to step out into the unknown and to launch out into the deeps and to take a detour because uh we're just vessels we're just um servants of the most high god 
Then uh, what could be hindering me? My biggest problem is time management. That is poor time management. I'm hoping to really work on that. And of course, that's why my my word for the year is uh, consistent alignment. Uh, consistency uh, calls for time management to be able to do things that we want to do daily. Then the other one is lack of accountability. I have I have sort of an accountability partner, the friend that I've been mentioning throughout, and not just her. I have like two. I have two really close friends. <clears throat> Yesterday I was uh, talking about my close friends, and I'm glad that my sister is able to mention them easily because sometimes we have a crowd close to us, and um, when we need help, not even help in terms of money and financial support or any, when we need to really talk to someone or like people are not able to know who is our closest person so lack of accountability fear of course the fear of unknown i talked about analysis paralysis um just fear and inconsistency of course that is in line with uh, a lack of time management and lack of accountability because today we are doing this tomorrow we're not doing it uh, i don't want that to be my life even this youtube channel i want you to know like on tuesdays Get Roots, Get Roots videos will be showing. Then poor planning. Sometimes I don't plan at all. Sometimes I over, over, I put a lot of things in my calendar which I'm not able to achieve. Uh, like this video, by the way, I was doing it yesterday and it was too late and it became blurry, so I'm redoing it. Uh, this is my statement. What do I want my life to look like? Uh, I want to be known to serve God, to serve humanity or people while growing deep in deep relationship with God. Uh, of course, this year, my motto is to know God and to know myself. So I want to serve uh, God, to serve humanity as I grow into deep relationship with God because ultimately all the glory and honor belongs to God and we're doing it uh, for Him and not for ourselves. I was asking myself what gives me the most joy. For me, it's usually touching lives, seeing people advancing, meeting their goals, and really getting fulfilled as well. When I do something, I just don't want to get fulfilled. I don't want to step on people while achieving my goals, but I want to move with people. I want to be able to see other people's lives changed as well as uh, mine. And then the other thing is seeing people growing, of course, that again in line with that. I don't want to grow, I don't want to be the person who has the biggest mansion and everyone else is living in the slum. That's not my joy. I want that if, if my society is changing, if I'm changing, even my society, my friends, my family members, people I know, even their lives are changing. People finding truth really. I feel that truth will always set uh, people free. Um, when people know the truth, you don't even need to hold their hands. They will be able to get themselves to where they ought to be. So I would also really want people to know the truth. And that is why my motto, which I never speak about, is for people to get the truth and be free. Get the truth, be free. So um, I'll leave you with a verse uh, that says, you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. So take your time to set your goals. Do that vision board. Uh, if you prayerfully create a vision board, God will bring it to um, fruition. And God will always lead you, even in the... You might write something. God may lead you to write something and you may not know how you will achieve it. And it will help you to be able to achieve it. So don't be scared to write down big goals that you, you, you feel like God is leading you to write. Go ahead and write them. Ultimately, all things will work together for good for you who uh, know God that are, call, are, are called according to his purpose. Um, God bless you so much. See you on the next video. Um, I'll, I'll link down uh, a blog that I've written about uh, Vision Board. I also link down a video. I also tag um, a video that I've spoken about vision creation of Vision Board. Make sure you watch them. See you on the next video. I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video. Zena. Yes, and you people are talking about boxers.